Hello, my name is Dick Baldwin. Welcome to my online lectures for ITSE 2321 Object Oriented Programming Using Java. This series of online lectures will approximate the lectures that I normally deliver in the classroom each semester. When completed, this series of online lectures will consist of many hours of video material broken down into 15 different lectures. Each lecture will be broken down into segments of approximately 15 minutes each to satisfy the YouTube length limitations. This is the beginning of part one of lecture nine titled darkening, brightening, and tinting the colors in a picture. I invite you to visit my college website at the address that I am highlighting right now. That is where you will find the syllabus for this course along with other information regarding this course. I also invite you to visit my personal website at the address that I am I am highlighting right now. When you visit that site you will find more than 600 tutorials that I have written on various aspects of computer programming, digital signal processing, and other related topics. Students enrolled in this course are expected to study my tutorial lessons numbered 1600 through 1630 at the address that I am highlighting now. Those students are also expected to study the material in the course textbook. So without further delay let's enter the world of object-oriented programming. This is the beginning of lecture number nine titled Darkening, Brightening, and Tinting the Colors in a Picture. In this lecture I will explain how to use the class definition shown on the right of your screen along with Barb Erickson's media library and three input files to produce the four graphic output images shown here 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 and finally here this is the final objective of the program. In addition to the four output images the program will produce the text that I am now highlighting on the command line. As usual the student is allowed to define new classes to cause the program to behave as required but the student is not allowed to modify the driver class currently showing on the right of your screen. This program uses a black ellipse on a green background as you see in the upper right of your screen to cause the pixels in a snow scene at the location of the ellipse to be given a red tint and to cause all other pixels in the snow scene to be darkened as shown here. The program also causes a skater in a green background to be given a red tint and to be drawn on the snow scene at the location of the red tinted ellipse as shown on the bottom right of your screen. 
the effect is that of a spotlight with a red tint shining on the skater. The driver class containing the main method is shown on the upper right of your screen. As you have seen on numerous occasions before, this code instantiates a new object of a class named Prob04Runner and then calls a method named Run that belongs to that new object. When the Run method terminates, and returns control to the main method, the main method terminates causing the program to terminate. The beginning of the class named Prob04Runner, including the constructor, is shown on the right of your screen. In this case, all the constructor does is to display some text on the command line screen. The beginning of the run method that is called on the new object in the main method is shown on the right of your screen. The code on the right of your screen instantiates three new picture objects or three objects from the class name picture one here, one here, and one here using an image file as input. Then in all three cases this code calls the explore method on the new picture object to display the contents of the image file as you have seen before, such as this one and this one and this one. Also, in all three cases, the program calls a method named crop on the new picture object to eliminate excess material from the outer edges of the picture object. As you can see from the parameters to the crop method, the same rectangular area is preserved for all three images and as a result all three images are the same size after cropping. If you were to display the picture whose reference is stored in the variable name snow scene after the crop method returns you would see the image now showing on your right with the excess material around the edge of the picture having been eliminated. The method named crop that I used in this program is essentially the same as the cropping methods that I have explained in earlier lessons. Therefore I won't waste your time by repeating the explanation of that method here. Continuing with the run method, the statement on the bottom right of your screen calls a method named darken background to make all of the pixels in the snow scene darker except for those in the location of the ellipse that you saw earlier. The snow scene pixels at the location of the ellipse are given a red tint instead of being darkened in the 
darken background method. At this point, I will put the explanation of the run method on hold while I explain the method named darken background.